Hey everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and today we are painting a New Orleans streetcar. Um, some people call them trolleys. If you say that to a New Orleans person, they will correct you. It's a streetcar. So, let's get started. So, here is my palette. Um, I have black, let's see, titanium black, titanium white. Mars black, uh, um, bright yellow, I forgot what colors I put on here. Um, anyway, um, that's some phthalo green, burnt umber, and some phthalo blue. So um, I think that's yellow ochre. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a little white and start brushing. I I tend to draw everything out on my canvas first, just uh, so I kind of know where things fit and everything, and then I come back and really paint it. But I know that there's trees over here, and uh, you know, that there will be some light coming through, but um, not totally. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of my blue. You can see I only put a little bit on my canvas. I just want just a hint of blue in the sky. I really want it to blend. And I'll put some. The uh, kind of nice thing that's happening right now is uh, I have a lot of, you know, lead from the pencil on the canvas already from drawing it and erasing because I was trying to get the, the, uh, the proportions right and everything. And um, the, the lead from the pencil kind of mixed with the white, which I kind of like that. I kind of like a dirty white background. Um, so, also when you're painting, you can paint the sides of your canvas. And it gives it a more finished look, or you can just paint it all black at the end. But, I'm not going to paint the sides today. So, let's see. I think the next thing I will do, I like to go from white to dark. I'm going to pick up some more white and paint the white parts of the streetcar, which is this top part, which goes down here. There's a little line right here. That white light. And this bottom edge. So, yeah, I always like to paint the white for parts first. Now I'm going to clean my brush and dry off my brush and I'm going to start on the green. So I'm going to take some of this green and some of the yellow and mix it together. Need a little more to get that green streetcar color. And the more yellow you add, of course it's going to be more yellow-green. It also makes it brighter, but I don't want to use all the yellow. So I just touch the white. That's okay. This painting's kind of loose. I don't want it to be perfect. I could come back and just, if I mess that up a little bit with that little spotlight on there, I don't care because I'm going to come back and do finishing touches at the end anyway. Okay, so now I paint the top part, go around the windows
and this is going to kind of just loosely go back in. I'm just kind of blocking in color right now, so it's not perfect. Some people think I get my whole canvas covered in paint, and they're like, oh, you're done. I'm like, no, not done. It still has, you know, a way to go. But I teach classes, and uh, that's just, I teach beginners only, and that's just what they think sometimes, that, oh, you, you know, you finished it. I'm also going to need some red on my palette, which I didn't put on there yet, yet. Just want, like, a bright red color. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to pick up some burnt umber. And this is for some trees back here in the distance. One's like growing right out of top of that. I had it kind of painted in already. But, you know, that wasn't permanent. I mean, I had it colored in, uh, drawn in, but those are not going to be perfect. So I'm going to have this tree go off the edge a little bit. And I'm also going to pick up some white and some black and make a gray. So I want some gray in that tree trunk also. Because you look at trees and they're not perfect, like brown. They're actually, or at least the live oak trees, are tend to be, have an aged grayish look, just like any aged wood. some more trees back there okay so now what should I do next all right now I'm gonna go back to green and I'm gonna pick up my big brush again and I'm gonna mix some more green with yellow and I'm going to kind of start with the trees, just kind of start putting in some loose foliage on the trees. Kind of turn your brush as you're doing this so that your, your leaves are not like all in one direction. Now, I can also start with some greenery down here on the bottom. And I'm just kind of blurring the bottom of that tree there. And kind of putting the green in between the trees. I'm going to add some water to my green, make it go a little bit looser across the bottom. And I'm going to add some of my yellow ochre to it. Just kind of give it a dirty base for the ground. And I'm going to come up here, add some more green. We want the bushes off and off in that direction. So 
So now I'm going to pick up some black and let black blend into the bottom. And I kind of want a big shadow here on this side. And I'm just kind of, it's our brushes is, is kind of like the paint is thick and it's not super wet on here. And I'm just kind of playing this by ear with the black. I'm just going to kind of blur the bottom. You know, there's wheels, there's track. Let's kind of make a little line that kind of you know, looks like a streetcar track a little bit. But let's also blur it. I'm going to add some more green on top of that. I don't like where the canvas is showing through. I'm going to add some more green to there. And just let that start to build with adding some thicker green, some thicker brown. The brown is the burnt umber color. And I'm going to pick up more yellow now. And kind of add some yellow. Oh. Too much black still on my brush. So I'm going to wash my brush. Dry it a little bit. I didn't wash it perfectly. Just want to get most of that black off of there. Okay, so now you see the yellow going on. And I may need a little bit more yellow on my palette now. Now, while I'm thinking about black, I'm going to do some black inside of the windows here. And I know I said do the light colors first and the darks last, but um, I've done most of the light colors already, so it's okay. You'll find that artists are full of contradictions. <laughs> Now, I don't want it stark black, so I'm going to actually blend a little white in there. Now I'm going to grab some red. So yeah, my yellow is deep yellow, the one that I used. I kind of don't worry about names and I just go by whatever color I feel like using at the moment. Oops, sorry. My chair is bumping you. Okay. Alright. Now, I've got some crimson. Hope you can see that. Do I have a big glare across my painting? I sure hope not. Okay. So now I'm going to do my red outline over here. I'm not going to do it perfect. I just kind of want to see where it goes.
right now I'm going to take my brush and paint some red down here for the doors. Anywhere that I smear like that, I'm not worried about it. Because it's not supposed to be perfect. I always tell my classes, I say, what What do you do if you want it to be perfect? And they know me and they all say, take a picture. Yeah. We hate perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm going to go in and just put a little black for the inside the windows there. And sometimes there's a signage on here, so I'm just going to kind of do some, just kind of a big smudge. I don't know what kind of sign we have today. around to my tree and I'm just kind of giving it a circular motion like that adding some more detail I'm going to kind of make the black kind of come up here and sort of stop at a point. So now I'm going to come back and do a little bit more of my green and yellow for my streetcar. So I'm just deepening the color. If you like it how it is, just leave it. You should always stick to your gut. You know, if you like, you're like wondering, like don't stick to your scared feeling. Is a lot of people who start painting get that scared feeling where they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm gonna mess it up. And don't stick. Don't worry about that. Don't want to be scared. Okay, now I'm going to take my smaller brush and start to do some little touches. So, like on these doors, they kind of have little windows. And I'm going to add some black also. Not perfect. No, indeed. And this has kind of a little square rectangle around it. Come back for my light. I'm going to add a little yellow into my light. I'm going to add a little yellow up here into the top of the streetcar. Because, you know, they're not perfect. I plan on doing a time-lapse version of this video, so I will put a link, uh, attach a link to this so that you can 
watch the quick version of this if you want to, you know, get a quick... If nothing else, it should give you maybe just a little encouragement to try your hand at painting and, you know, just see where it takes you. So now I'm just kind of doing finishing touches. I'm going to take some gray and do like a shadow at the back of the streetcar and over here because I, I want you to be able to see where it stops. Okay, now I'm going to dip my brush in my black and just keep swirling it until it's just a little bit thinner. And I want to just kind of add a little outline here. Not perfect outline, but I just want to add a little something there. And I want to do the cable for the streetcar. Again, not doing the perfect thing. Just kind of implying that cable. I think these trees need a little work too. That one's kind of back in the distance, so it's getting more gray. into a little bit lighter gray here where these tracks are kind of implied and let's see I'm going to add a little more white 